recovery on item level. We can just uh, restore one particular folder instead of whole EFS. So we can just uh, need use the class. Uh, we can just need to choose, we need to choose uh, the, where it should be restored. It can be a new EFS or a same uh, source mm -hmm. file system. And uh, that's my bad. We don't uh, allow to use the same text for the existing resource. It's only for the new. So we just need to disable it and just need to restore it. And what do we see? Where is this data will be? If we are restoring on the same uh, EFS, which is the first thing coming in your head? It should be on the same place where it, where it is, was before. But uh, it's not work like this. And not obvious thing for us was we are not using the mounting from the root folder. We are mounting EFS and production folder to our instance. So uh, yeah, let's let's stop here a little bit also. Uh, you see, our restoration task was completed. Uh, creation date is almost 1 p.m. Uh, completion date, okay, it spent four minutes for the restoration and the amount of the data was around 10 gigabytes. It's pretty quick, I would say. Super. We, we know at least now it works. Uh, let's go next. Uh, second problem can be uh, it's hard to find your uh, data because I need inside the uh, root, uh, root folder of your EFS web. Now, let's try to do the same exercise, but let's try to create to, I mean, what can be wrong if we will decide to create new EFS instead of restore the data on the same EFS? 